In this lectures we will know how to create project in MS project. A project leader is responsible to ensure the three key components, cost, schedule, and scope constraints are met for a project. Each component is crucial and are interdependent. Schedule helps in prioritizing work, showing what has been accomplished, and helping manage resources. The three commonly used scheduling software are MS Project, Primavera P6, and Open Project. In this guide we will be learning how to use MS Project. Upon downloading the software, open it on a desktop. Look out for the P sign. To be noted that MS Project files will be labeled as .mpp and open office as .odt. The basic steps involved include in creating first schedule are creating a new project file setting the calendar, listing all the activities and their durations, link activities and group relationships as per assigned relationships. For establishing schedule parameters some of the important considerations are as shown. As shown in the figure this is the window of MS project, it include different components like task pane, standard toolbar, title bar, formatting toolbar etc. In this figure it shows MS project window while creating new project plan. The first step is to create a new project. Select file, menu, new project template or blank project. Before we start listing the tasks, fill in the project information, which includes project name, project start and finish dates, current date, and status date. This figure shows MS project window while setting the dates for new project plan in calendar. Creating a calendar. Project includes a default calendar, with standard date hour work day, with Saturday and Sunday off and no public holidays. Modify or create a new calendar to suit your project needs as per 8, 10 or 12 hours working hours, Saturdays as working day, and or adding public and religious holidays. To create a calendar, click Project. Properties. Change working time. Adding activity. Select View, Task Views, Gantt Chart. Type a task name in the first empty task name field then duration it required to complete and the relations between tasks. Activities are called tasks in MS project. As you enter activities and their durations, it will graphically represent it to the right in a blue bar over a timeline. This is called the activity bar, and gives a quick visual of which activities needs to be executed. As shown in the figure the first column represent the activity ID second is activity task and thereafter the relations between the activity are shown. Outline tasks. Group similar activities together. Indented tasks becomes a subtask of the task above it. The task above becomes the summary task. For example by building, by area, category of activities, design, construction, mechanical, etc. Indent task button is the right facing green arrow under formatting fuel bar, group activities. It is a good practice to save the file time to time. It's a good idea to add a date in the file name to track it from newer versions as the project progresses. Each project update should be a new file. In a schedule, each and every task should be linked to other tasks. The links are called relationships. The relationships drives the project schedule. Project supports four types of task relationships. Finish to start. Activity 1 must finish before activity 2 can start. Example is relationship between plastering and painting. Start to start. Activity 1 and activity 2 must start at the same time. Example is relationship between footing excavation and pit dressing sand filling. Finish to finish. Activity 1 and Activity 2 must finish at the same time. These relationships also reduce the overall amount of time in project. Example is relationship between floor PCC and rubble soiling. 
activities are further classified into successors and predecessors. Predecessor, is an activity which must be completed before a specific activity begins. Successor, is an activity which will begin after a specific activity is complete. Lags. It helps separate start dates of successor activities by a set amount. As seen, the lag in the relationship, will make activity 51 start after 5 days of completion of activity 50. Constraint. Is a fixed date assigned to a task to control when it starts or finishes. Types of multiple types constraints as listed. Ideally, minimal use of constraints should be followed. While reviewing the Gantt chart on the screen, adjustment of time scale is necessary to ensure the whole project can be fit on the screen. Click on Format. Time Scale. Click the top tier, middle tier, or bottom tier tab. And adjust the time scale. The Critical Path. Overall duration of the project is driven by the Critical Path. The sequence of the activities which have no float or slack is called critical path. It is the shortest time possible to complete the project. Any delay of an activity on the critical path directly imparts the plan project completed date. Start and finish dates. Early start is also termed as ES. Early finish EF will be ES plus duration. Late start is called LS. Late finish LF is equal to ls minus duration floats free time available to a task is called float there are of two types total float and free float total float is the spare time available when all preceding activities occur at earliest possible time and the critical path activities have zero float Free float is the early finish minus early start. It is the time by which an activity can be delayed without delaying successor activity. Bar styles. One can change the color, shape, or pattern of a bar. This will help visually identify activities. Milestone. It is a reference point that marks a major event in a project life cycle. It is a zero duration task. It can be incorporated by go to select view in that task views and select Gantt chart. Symbol of milestone is like this. Project baseline is the approved time phased plan used to measure the performance of the project. It is usually decided at beginning of the project and is part of contract. It is impossible to achieve a control on project without right planning. Planning helps to achieve objectives. MS Project is a tool that helps achieve planning objectives.